What is going on guys? It is Courtney and I'm back with another video. I'm going to show you how to remake Fourth Dimension, which is a track from Kids See Ghost. So without further ado, let's just get into it. First thing is the sample. This track was produced by Mike Dean and Kanye West. It features a sample by Louis Prima called What Would Santa Do? And basically the sample just is a chop of a vocal that plays throughout. So let me play you the sample with absolutely zero processing. Down the chimney he will come with his great big smile And he'll find that even the kiddies are swimming in a later style oh, 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 what a Santa bringing so that is the sample so in order to get that intro bit for the instrumental what you have to do is you have to chop out that bit that says what would Santa do and reverse it and play it like this down the chimney he will come with his great big smile and he'll find that even the kiddies are swimming in a later style Oh, what is Santa bringing? Oh, I'm you for And the way that you can chop this bit out is by using the scissor tool and just clipping where you need to clip. And in Logic, they make it really easy to reverse just one section. You do it by this. You click the audio sample that you want to reverse. You go to the side over here, and this would be unchecked, but since I did have it reversed, it will be checked. So that's all you do to reverse a clip. Now, with the processing that I put on this track, I put the EQ, of course, to take out some of the lows and a little bit of the highs because it was a vinyl record, so there were a little bit of clicks and pops in the track. And then I also added this Native Instruments plugin Dirt to it because I wanted to give it a little bit of warmth and saturation. It's super easy to use this plugin. I actually used a preset for this particular sound. It was the Vocal Warmer preset. Let me show you what it sounds like without it versus with it. As you can see, Dirt just gives it a little bit more low end, a little bit warmth and saturation in the harmonics as well. From there, let me show you the two samples that play throughout the track. Now, moving on to the drums. So here's the drum pattern, and then I'll break it down after you hear it. Now, as you can see in this, there are a lot of layers of drums. I use drums from sound packs, and I use drums from actual vinyl records just to try to emulate this sound that Kanye has. Now, I'm not saying this sounds exactly like Kanye's record. It's pretty close to that style that we're going for. So let's talk about the processing of the drums. There is the channel EQ, and then I added a little bit of tube EQ to kind of bring in that punch to the kick drum. And then I added a hard limiter so it wouldn't clip. Now, for the chop drums, I actually tuned them down so that they're tone would be warmer because my original drums they were kind of flat sounding so let me show you what it sounded like without the chops so you can see it's just a little bit too in the box so to give it some life i put these vinyl drum chops on it and it sounds like this Now with this drum track, I also needed a little bit more warmth for the drums as well. So I added Native Instruments Dirt plugin and I actually didn't use a preset for this one. I kind of just tested the things that I liked. Uh, the way that this plugin works is it has three tones. It can be higher in the harmonic range and the, the higher frequencies, or you can have your harmonics be in the lower range. And for this beat, I kind of wanted those harmonics to be in the lower frequencies. So let's hear how it sounds without dirt and with dirt. So as you can see, it just gives it a little bit more warmth and a little bit more saturation in the lower frequencies. I couldn't find the actual 808 sound that he used in this beat, but we may do, and here is what we have for the bass. So 
So what I did to that base was added a little bit of dirt as well, some distortion, R base, and then some channel EQ. Before I forget to mention, this snare actually has a delay on it, so it sounds like this by itself. And it's just a 1 8 delay. Now, let's listen to the full beat. Down the chimney he will come with his friendly smile And he'll find that even the kiddies are swinging in a later style Oh, oh, oh. what is Santa bringing? Oh, oh, oh. I'm singing you for dancing I'm So that is the fourth dimension beat. I absolutely love this song. I love this beat. So that is why I decided to remake it for you and kind of show you some different techniques to utilize in your productions. I hope this video was helpful for you guys. If you haven't already, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we are almost to 2,000 subscribers. And be sure to hit the little bell so you get a notification every single time I post. If you haven't already, also follow me over on Instagram and on Twitter because you can see the behind the beat stuff on my Instagram and you can get producer tips on my Twitter. So, yeah. And I also want to send a quick shout out to the people over at Native Instruments for sending me this plugin as well as Byte and Freak, which are all in their Crush Pack VST bundle. So be sure to head over and check that out if you thought that this would be helpful for you. So I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.